all figured out for a while there, and then I was delivered an unsliced pizza. <laughs> Everything you believe in just unravels. <laughs> Everything you hold true. Some people, it sounds like a simple mistake, not me. I took it personally. I was like, that's somebody down at Domino's making a judgment call on my life. <laughs> that's somebody seeing my name come up on one too many tickets and finally just being like, listen, man. We know that you're probably going to eat this by yourself. <laughs> More than likely all in one sitting, too, so. You know what to do, man. Just fold it in half and... <laughs> Bon Appetit. <laughs> Just because they were right, I didn't appreciate the assumption. You don't know me, Domino's. <laughs> I was in Louisville, Kentucky. I hadn't been there before. Just walking around, trying to get some lunch, looking for lunch in all the wrong places. <laughs> walking around, I saw it was, uh, it was uh, two black guys and one of them was holding a white baby. I was like, they stole that baby. I was like, <laughs> I didn't want it. It's not like I put it together. It's like, bank, that's what you thought. You son of a <laughs> And the irony was I was on my phone trying to find out if a particular sandwich chain had donated to anti-gay charities. Because I'm like, I cannot support that. That is hatred, and I will not eat there. I'll make my own sandwich. I'll go buy bread and meat if I have to, but I will not support that kind of hatred. Those guys stole that baby. But I will not go eat at this place. <laughs> If it, I didn't even think that they, maybe they were gay, because one of them was smoking. I was like, gay dads don't smoke. That's not even a thing. That's what I made up after the other thing that popped in there. How are you going to justify thinking that the two black guys stole the white baby? Why aren't they just gay guys? Well, one of them smoking, gay dads don't smoke. Stop making up stereotypes. <laughs> Went to Seoul, South Korea last year, but never been to Asia, just taking all this amazing, an amazing city. And I'm just walking around, bright sunny day, walking around the market, and, uh, and I was out in the sunshine, and I'm the only one wearing sunglasses. I'm like, how come I'm the only one wearing sunglasses? I'm like, oh, they don't need them, because their eyes are already, oh, don't even finish it, don't even finish it. Oh, why is that what's in here? And it's not even like a bed, it's like you don't need sunglasses. That's kind of a nice thing, that's convenient, but it's still bad. I'm not any happier about this than you guys are, all right? <laughs> I'm upset with myself. But that's why, like, when you see people like, stereotypes exist for a reason. Yeah, because you're a dickhead. That's why they exist. <laughs>